click on start lab and open cloud console in cognitive window in my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need use and password you can refer to the lab instructions so now here you have to click on i understand now in the description box i have shared one github link so now we will be navigating towards the workbench so because first task is about jupyter lab so first of all so now it is with the github repo right click open on jupyter lab now wait for this here you need to click on i agree and then agree and continue now activate the cloud shell just to click on open jupyter notebook wait for the jupyter notebook to open click on terminal now head over to the github repo and enter this command it will download the file on your lab system so now click on it now make sure that you are selected python 3 kernel and wait for this python 3 kernel to get idle as it is connecting in this stage so here is it is idle now we will start the task click on this button for executing the task for second task you need to wait until it shows restarting kernel see kernel is showing restarting click on ok wait for the kernel to idle that means the circle will be empty so now click on the play button for all the tasks now once it shows the output we will be done with task number one so a lot of you guys were facing issue on task number two three and four mostly by three so i have updated the lab so make sure to check it out and follow the video step by step so that you don't face any unnecessary error so now we will move forward to the cloud shell session in case you haven't activated you can just click on the button above as you can see this button it will be activated so now enter it now let the command execute it will take at least 5 to 10 minutes and even more so wait kindly meanwhile like the video and subscribe to the channel labs i fast forwarded you need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes depending on the lab make sure your cloud shield doesn't go and sleep so wait for time some time and as you can see we are heading yes finally now we will do the task where you are facing error so first of all click on localhost url and then secondly copy on the app url now we have to generate the recipe and once it's generated we will be done with the lab so now wait so here you can select any any recipe you can select and click on generate recipe now go to the first one and do the same with these two make sure you have clicked on both url and entered correctly and once it's done as you can see we got the output wait for this output and 
finally we are done with the lab guys in case you like the tutorial do like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you need any lab video do comment down below thank you guys have a great day ahead as you can see we got 100 out of 100 and we are done with the lab thank you guys